Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Learn Micrody Configuration Series. Today's topic is about Microdic Auto Failover by Netwatch. Failover is making sure if your one link is down, link will be up by other backup link. To configure this, you have to have at least two one links. One is primary and other is backup or standby link. Your link will be running by only one link at a time. It is very simple configuration. We will use Netwatch and Firewall rule to accomplish this. Okay, let's see the configuration. This is my configuration lab. I have two one links. One is towards ISP1 and one is towards ISP2. And ISP1 gateway is 192.168.1.1 and ISP2 gateway is 172.16.1.1. Okay, I will connect my this router from the user router. We check the user router. Yeah, this one. Now I will check my IP address. You can see I have already added the ISP1 address 19.168.1.2 ISP1. Now I will add ISP2. 172.162 slash 30. This will be my Ethernet 2. Apply. I will write as ISP2. I have assigned my IP address and this is for LAN address 10.1.1.1 slash 24. I will use from this block. Okay. Now I will add routes i've already added my one route towards isp1 now i will add another route towards isp2 so 2.16.1.1 i will change the distance here because i will use the isp2 as secondary connection so the distance 1 for primary ISP and 10 for a standby ISP or secondary ISP. The lower distance takes precedence over another one. This ISP's link will be my primary link. We have to do another thing. We'll check gateway's ping. We'll have to do the same thing here. Check gateway's ping. Now we'll have to make sure one ISP's gateway IP is not reachable via another interface. So we'll have to go to the IP then firewall and to the filter rules click plus sign to add in the chain we will add output and the destination address is 192.168.1.1 ISP1 gateway and out interface is ether1 connection is accept I have to click plus sign to add chain output Destination address is 192.168.1.1. Section will be dropped. Now we will have to add secondary base piece connection. Chain output destination address is 172.16.1.1. How the interface is either two action is accept click plus sign to add again chain is output destination address 172.16.1.1 and action is drop so this will make sure one ISP's gateway IP is not reachable by another interface now we will create netwatch to check link every five seconds so we'll have to go to the tools then to the netwatch click plus sign to add now we'll add isp1 gateway 1.1 we'll set the time as five seconds in the up message i'll put a script here ip route enable zero and in the down script, I will write IP route to double zero. Apply. Okay. 
now i will add for our secondary ISPs network rule which is 172.16.1.1 same 5 seconds so this will be like IP route enable 1 copy the script and in the down I will disable the 1 route apply and ok ok now I will test it so you could see our all traffic are going through ISP1 link now so I will go to the ISP1 router now you can see from the diagram here now I will disable ISP1 to use a router interface to see if our link switch to secondary link via ISP2 if I disable this link all the traffic should go towards this link towards ISP2 link let's see I'll disable from the ISP1 interface now we'll go to the user router you could see our network rule worked the status shows down and it disabled the primary route and it enables the secondary link so all the traffic are now going through this secondary ISP if I enable again from the ISP1 interface let's click here now you see see switch back to the ISP1 because of the priority of distance this is just what we wanted so our link switch to ISP2 when our router determines ISP1 gateway was unreachable so this is a very simple way to configure auto failover I hope this video will help to subscribe this channel for more videos thanks for watching